everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. This is Dave here with What Does Dave Think? And what I want to do for today is talk about the Microsoft Surface event this week. Ten years of Microsoft Surface. And I'm going to jump right in and say, to me, the event felt like it was a little bit underwhelming. This was the 10th anniversary of the service. A chance for them to do something different. To do something amazing. To give us that one pop pizzazz product. You know, maybe we get the service in an iPad form. Who knows? You know, we, they, they could have done a variety of things here. But what did we get? We got the Surface Pro 9 with the new generation processors. We got a new Surface Studio 2.5 with a 11th gen processor, not even 12th gen, and a few Thunderbolt ports at roughly $4,300. I don't know who would pay $4,300 for that. There are much better things out there that you can get for $4,300 to pretty much do the same thing the Surface does unless you need that massive 28-inch touch screen for artwork or drawing or planning or diagramming or something like that. You know, and we got the Surface Pro X got eliminated into the Surface Pro 9 line. You have the Surface Pro 9 line, one with Intel, one with AMD, or oh, nope, 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 said that wrong. There is no AMD, excuse me. Surprisingly, there is no AMD in the Surface line. This time around, we just have Intel and ARM was what I was trying to get out. We do have the new Snapdragon SQ3 chip that is supposedly right much quicker than the one in the two. We'll have to wait and see. Now, the, the ARM version does come with 5G, Unfortunately, there are no LTE connections in the Surface Pro 8. Oop, dip, dip, screwed up again. Surface Pro 9. I'll get it right. Um, I don't know. Microsoft really, I think, dropped the ball this time. You know, we have the, I, I didn't leave out, we have the Surface Laptop over there, Surface Laptop 5. Um, they did add a Thunderbolt port to that, but given the price, there are much more economical laptops out there. You can get much more for what you're going to pay for a Surface Laptop 5 from other brands. And I'm not knocking the Surface line, folks. You pay a premium for the Surface product. The Surface product is some of the most well-built devices out there. What does that build quality and that look mean to you? Now, the, the Surface Pro 9, Dell has come out with their 2-in-1, you know, that, that reviewers have said, uh, underwhelms as far as performance goes and several people have tried to copy the Surface Pro 9 the form factor with the flip up hinge at the back and the detachable keyboard and trackpad on the front um, the Surface Pro 9 still stands in a league by itself the ARM version with 5G in my opinion is something special but Microsoft really missed the boat here. You know, that that they could have said, look, here's a Surface Gaming laptop. That was rumored to be happening, by the way. There was that rumor put out there. You know, that they could have said, hey, here's a new Surface Duo. You know, that they, they could have done a number of things. They could have given us a gaming laptop or a gaming desktop, excuse me. And, you know, to, to take it a step further, speaking of gaming laptops, don't think that you're going to go buy that new Surface Studio 
with a brand new 3060 in it and get top-notch gaming performance on that big screen because it's the laptop version. It's the laptop version of the 3060. How will it perform? We'll have to wait and see, but it's meant for creators, video editors, and people that are going to make use of that large touchscreen. You know, that is fully adjustable on the hinge. But I feel like Microsoft did the same thing a lot of other companies have done this year. They just kind of bumped the specs and moved on. So we've kind of fallen in that little rut that we get in every two or three years. And, and you know, somebody will come up with something that pushes us in the next direction. Now, I think we may have seen what that is. What did we see a few weeks ago? We saw a folding computer from Asus, I believe it was, and we saw another version from Lenovo. You know, Lenovo came out with the first version a couple of years ago. Those are looking better. So it's the next thing, a foldable? Do we want a foldable? How do we feel about a foldable? Leave me a note down there in the comments. How do you feel about a foldable? I'm interested. I'm a Samsung Galaxy Z Fold fan. I'm interested to see what happens when we take that to the big screen. But I don't want to get too far off of that. What were your opinions of the Surface event? Will you be buying any of the Surface devices? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you will be buying and what your thoughts were. And as always, folks, I appreciate you tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.